I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. This is me, Sarah, and welcome back to Geeky TV. Yeah, we were only gone for a week, but that is because uh, it was more my fault. I completely was just overwhelmed with so much going on. I had so many projects that I wanted to work on. I had so much work that I had to do with like, my own job. Um, I had my life going on. I have friends and just everything like that. So of course, I was just so overwhelmed that I completely did not have time to actually make a video. So I told the group that we should make, we'd probably get a break, or at least can we have one, because I was completely overwhelmed, and I knew for a fact that by like any part of this week I wasn't gonna make one. So, <laughs> so we are actually back, and we are gonna start it off by starting with the coolest little uh, week, and it is called YouTubers Week. Now, in case you guys didn't see in the intro, uh, you know, you kind of figured who I'm probably going to talk about. Well, the funny thing is, is that I could talk about any YouTuber on this planet. I could talk about Tyler Oakley, Thomas Sanders, and Miles McKenna, because they helped me become gay. But either way, <laughs> but either way, um, I, I actually really want to talk about the two men that have literally changed my life when I was 18 years old and all the way up till now. And they have really, really changed who I am. Of course, like, of course the other three I just talked about helped, brought me out of my sexuality, but this group brought me out as a human being. Like, it brought me out as this person to speak up and be outspoken and really kind of just be out there. Like, it's, it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I'm going to talk about the wonderful Let's Play group called the Game Grumps. It's really cool, you, it's really funny, you look at me and you would not expect to probably think that, but if you guys have been knowing me for so long, you guys should know that I love them very, very much. Story time! <laughs> Sorry, wow, I really am Thomas. But either way, um, back when I was 18 years old, I was going through a rough rough, rough patch in my life. Like, I, of course, you know, this isn't Stay Strong Week, but, um, years ago, you know, since I, you know, since school, or since pretty much when I was a little kid, to school, to now, I have not been the happiest person ever, and I have been hitting so many rough patches in my life, and I still am to this day. Um, when I was 18, it was just really, really, really hard, because, there was so much expectations out of me that I I was graduating, I was gonna have a future, but I didn't know exactly what my future was. Um, my family was proud of me for graduating, but then they were, I'm already feeling that disappointment from like me still being at home. <laughs> there was just so much going on in my head. And then the fact that like, I was so scared to do anything because I was so afraid of rejection, disappointment, failure, all all the above, I literally stayed isolated and I was depressed and lonely and scared and sad and just everything. It was I was just a big ball of mess. Still the same, but not as bad. But I I was hospitalized. I was uh, taken back home and then I had my phone away. Um, I was pretty much just in my room, in my corner of my room, and I had only but my Wii. <laughs> Which, of course, me, I love games. I love video games. They are fun, and, you know, if I ever need, like, a moment to de-stress, I like playing them. And, um, my best friend at the time, well, actually, no, she's still my best friend to this day, Jessie, uh, she... We were in the car, and I was going to her house one day because she wanted to get me out, and I really kind of wanted to get out of the house as well, and I was just finally starting to open, like, slightly open up, but not as much. She looked at me, and she was like, have you ever watched the Game Grumps? And I said, the only time I've ever watched them was back when Aaron was with John, which, if you guys don't know, that was the original, like, the OG Game Grumps, and, um... They were funny, 
I just wasn't really like it, there was so much like yelling and screaming that I can't it's still funny it doesn't still change but either way there's so much going on that I kind of I mean I watched the Chuck E. Cheese one and I did love it but it wasn't like something I really got into it um she's like no you really should like actually watch it and like they got a new new person which who is Danny and um they got more people and all the stuff like that so of course my brain I was like okay I'm gonna give it a shot when one night I was just about to go to sleep and I uh, put on put on my Wii and I looked up YouTube and I looked up the Game Grumps and I watched Kirby's Epic Yarn which is one of the episodes they have which is actually my favorite episode and immediately just immediately fell in love with them because they were funny and they were making me laugh and to be fairly honest I haven't laughed like that in so long it was just like a moment of wow and I felt so good and it was I was so happy that I could watch all these videos and kind of forget why I was sad and so that's why I fell in love with them they kind of really pushed me to get out of that depression just to get out of that that feeling and just know that there's something good in this world and so that's why I really just want to show appreciation to them I can't even really choose my favorite. Um, usually I always say it's Danny, but I love both of them. Um, I love all of them. Like they, their whole group is amazing. You know, uh, Ross, Brian, um, Barry, Kevin. I know they're not around, but still, they are still a part of my heart. Uh, Susie, Holly, um, Matt, and Ryan. Just all of them. Every single one of the people who help the Game Grumps in any way are completely awesome and I just want to give the hugest thanks to the two men who are Aaron and Danny. Aaron is a tough guy but he is also the biggest softie at the same time. You know, don't let his anger fool you on the, on the show. He gets angry but I can understand that. I can relate. But he is like a very sweet person and he's very wise and I mean he's an inspiration in himself. You know, he dropped out of school and now he is this all time just you, you can't go around like not knowing him and he's just he's just more than just game grumps he is a voice actor he's done you know some cartoons he's done rick and morty and just everything you name it a lot of cartoon shows it's it's really awesome how he's still pursuing his dream and still going for it even though he did not go to school and that really 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 like made an impact on me because i dropped out of school and you know, I dropped out of college and I just was like, I'm not doing this, it's not for me. And if he can make it out on his own, I would love to do the same thing as well. I'd love to voice act, I'd love to sing, and I would love to uh, do stuff that he does. And the fact that he is the biggest sweetheart, he is the biggest, <laughs> like, sweetest person ever. And then there's Danny. And Danny is just an awesome guy he and what really I always say that I relate more to him just cuz he has went through almost everything that I've went through um and especially when I watched Wind Waker which is a Zelda game that they played um he was talking about his depression and how he got through it uh, and then he threw his meds away and now how he's happy all the time and how he likes to be happy all the time and he doesn't really like to go back down that road again it impacted me because I was like, oh my god, like, that's what I want. Like, I don't want to feel that sadness anymore. I want to be happy. I don't want to feel that loneliness anymore. And he, if he can do it, I certainly can. And so that's what I always do is every time he talks about it, I'm always like, I can do it too. And he is an amazing guy. And the thing is, is he's also another inspiration to himself too. Like he's, he's, you know, he, of course didn't do so well, he was depressed, he did drugs, he was, you know, just a very messed up, um, a mess, you know, pretty much what he, what he said is like a mess of growing up, but he bettered himself, and he made himself this amazing person who sings, is funny, talented, he, you know, he has his own band, which of course, Ninja Sex Party, which is one of my favorite bands ever, um, I have all their CDs and their poster. But 
he's got that, he's got Game Grumps, he's got a show on uh, YouTube Red with Aaron. It's just, it's incredible. It's amazing how he came so far and how he's still making it and, and just becoming who he wants to be and getting to sing with his favorite band, just everything. Like, he is living his dream and that is just something that I personally just admire about him. So, that's why I really kind of wanted to give this like little video out to them because they are amazing. If you guys haven't watched Game Grumps, I would advise to watch it. Even though if you're not even into video games, if you're not into commentaries, if you're not into stuff that's funny, that'd be weird. But if you're not, that's okay. But to be honest, I love it because even though if they're not really good at the game, they're still funny and still entertaining to watch and still something to like kind of forget that you were sad like whenever you're feeling really down it's a good way to it, you know it's a good way to laugh and they say laughter is the best medicine and they really have helped that so if you haven't I would suggest watching them um, they are very incredible very talented I would love for them to see this one day and to realize how much they've changed me because you know now I'm I'm more outspoken than I used to be. Um, I'm more, I'm more uh, determined. I'm more motivated. I'm happier, and I would like to thank them so much for it. Um, you know, maybe I might do a cover of maybe a Ninja Sex Play song or a Starbomb song on Sunday. Maybe. It's a Either way, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys actually go check them out and also check out Ninja Sex Party just because they are the best. Um, I love their music. Of course, it's supposed to be like very funny, very corny, and you know, very provocative. But it's funny, and it's actually very, very catchy and very clever. So I would suggest uh, checking them out. And yeah, I just thank you guys so much for everything and to make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to check out more videos along the way with this week and to always just remember to be yourself be happy find inspiration in your life and keep it and don't throw away anything that makes you happy because believe me they you need it to keep going and to keep fighting because no matter what you can't do this alone and you're never going to be alone ever I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!